right, everybody, welcome back. Step two is going to be adding the shadow, which is down here on our bags. So I have my wonderful, obnoxious pink and orange uh, background done. And now I'm gonna to start to add in. So I used orange, like I just said. So the opposite of orange on the color wheel is blue. So I'm gonna be able to add some blue in there. And then the opposite of my pink, think red, is green. So these are going to make my darkest shading. I'm also going to be using some purple and some more actual red, not the pink. Why do I get to use purple? In the other video, I talked about using the colors that were to either side of red. So on one side of red is a purple and the other side is orange. I ended up not using the purple in my picture over here, but I am going to use it this time. So this is going to become my lovely shadows. So the next thing, where do you put the shadow? It is so important that you understand this. If my light source is coming from here, that means my shadow is going to be, the light is shining, shining, shining. I'm going to get some shading under here because this avocado, see I knew, I told you I was going to call it an avocado, it's a kiwi, is going to be casting a shadow down here. And then there's going to be a whole lot of shading down here. If I was bringing my light source here, think of a flashlight shining on here, I would have more shading here, cast shadow here, a little bit here. Maybe not quite as much here. If I was coming from over here on this side, then I would have probably still some here because now this is casting a shadow. Some here, some here, not over here. So, and then if I had light coming from here, that would just be weird and I don't like that. So I'm not gonna do it at all. So, move it on, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is add in some of my red. So I'm still lightly coming in here with my red. So I'm just darkening this up a little bit. Okay, here's step one. And I don't want it to look like I just have a line. So I'm gonna spread it out into my pink a little bit further. And I'm gonna do a little bit up here also. All right, so there's that little bit further. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of purple. And you can color a little harder, closer to your item, whatever fruit or vegetable you're doing, and lighter as you get further away. So again, I'm darkest and lightening up as I move away. So here comes purple. And you can see how it's just getting a little bit darker. Little bit of a shadow here. I got some crumbs, just brush them out gently so that they don't smear everywhere. Now I'm gonna to start to lay in my other colors. So again, I'm taking in the orange uh, color that I used here and I'm using the opposite, which is blue. So I'm gonna color on top of here. I guess I really am sort of scumbling as I do this. Anything that I can do so that I don't have a solid line, I think is gonna be good. Bring out just a little bit. Again, getting darker as I get closer to my item. All right. So here's my blue. Now I'm gonna to go to the green, the green being the opposite of the red. And you need to remember, even though you're doing a shadow, people think, oh, I'm gonna come in really hard. You're still going light. Light, 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 light. Okay, so there's that. Now, that's a little on the dark side. What can I do? Well, yeah, I can add white, or I can go back with my pink and my orange. So, starting with my orange, and I'm going to use this color as a blender, so I'm gonna be putting it in and almost dragging out the other colors that I just used. So there it is, just a little bit more. 
come in with the pink. I always get a kick out of when you can hear the classes right on the other side of the door. It really gives you a good indication of how thin the walls and the door is. All right, and I might come in with some white right here at the corner. Lay some white in. Okay, so there we go. And I totally forgot to come back up here and do it here, so I'll have to work on that later. But that's how you add this in. You know what, I think I just want a little bit more red in here. As you can see, this is something that's going to be a little time consuming, but this is gonna make your project have that wow factor that everybody's gonna stop and think, how did they do that? That is amazing. And doesn't that make you feel good when people say that? Or am I crazy? It makes me feel good when people say that. All right, so there we go. Best of luck. Again, don't forget, not up here.